My name is Elijah John Gizzarelli. So basically, I, uh, I drive the Freedom Wagon around. I pick up things, put them down, set up everything, you know. Um, I also am a part fundraiser. I uh, give people a call after the event, you know, be that first initial contact. So I've been a voluntarist now for about probably six years or so. Um, and I've just always been kind of as pragmatic as possible trying to move towards that, you know, more peaceful, harmonious future. And uh, I've, I pretty much had settled on it being like, you know, I'd be a little bit politically active wherever I could be. Um, but I, I'd mostly thought that it was, that the answer to the, to the problem was just, you know, through peaceful parenting, education campaigns, then after a generation or so down the line, you know, we could get to that next level of human evolution here where we're not pointing guns at each other to get things done. Adam, this tour came through the event, uh, the Taxation and Theft Tour, uh, came through uh, Providence where I live. I went to that event and um, I really just loved the strategy. I fell in love with the idea of localization. I saw how unifying it was between both extreme lefts and extreme rights and centrists and everybody can really get behind the idea of localization and that to me was something worth putting all my chips behind and, and really getting involved with. Well I think Adam himself uh, inspires a lot of loyalty. I think that um, his public persona is, is very likable. He's very articulate when he talks about libertarian ideas and principles. He, he has that whole like kind of, like he's that true libertarian kind of thing, but at the same time, he's able to relay the message to others in a way that is almost disarming. And I think that um, his part of me getting involved in this is, is betting on Adam, because I think he's really that guy to, to send this message to other people and get it through in the appropriate way. I guess the general message of this, the campaign is just that like, hey, the, the, the federal government is where democracy goes to die, okay? So if you have so, such a more intimate relationship with your state uh, legislature, your governor, your mayor, whereas if you can bring down the ultimate decision making of government that closer to a, a level that you can reach out and touch, whether it's just a phone call away or you can walk down to City Hall. I think that that just, it empowers democracy so much. Whereas at the federal government, if you look at, you know, anything like marijuana legalization, well over 70% of the American people want marijuana legalized, but it's still not there on a federal level. That shows that the federal government is completely inept at, at actually delivering democracy to your doorstep. So this idea of localization is, is paramount. San Francisco should not be telling Texas what their laws need to be, and Texas shouldn't be telling New York. And I think that when you get extreme left people, they want more control over their communities. And extreme right people want more control over their communities. And centrists want more control over their communities. And, that, and you only get that through localization. And that's why this message is so powerful and just so relevant to everybody. You don't need to control others to live your life. And that's, that's the, the state's real um, kind of like tagline. And so nobody wants laws for themselves. They always want laws to, to control other people. You know, they're, they're so scared of their fellow man, right? And if, if you just like take in a deep breath and you look at the person across from you or walking down the street, they mean you no harm. And so when you can just kind of internalize that, that you're, you're okay, you don't have to fear the person across from you. That, it's gonna stop you from running to the state and their, the state's guns. And, and just, we can all just take in a deep breath, put down the guns, stop trying to force each other to do what we want and just live in a more peaceful and harmonious society. I think that if you, if you kind of get rid of that fear of other people, um, it's, it's a wonderful thing. It, it gives you so much peace in your life and it, at the same time, it, it really clarifies 
what's actually going on with the government and why everything gets so messed up down the line. It's so easy to see for me now. Oh, why is there a problem? Why? Because we're pointing guns at people's faces. That's why that's the problem, right? Um, and I, when, once you see that, I think, uh, I think that really changes your life forever.